Sam, the reporter here at... Zim Knives. And today, we're gonna be cutting to the chase. This is up at like 2200 degrees, something around there. Whoa, this is like eight or nine microphones. Yeah, totally. Like four pounds. It's called a cross peen hammer. A cross what? Cross peen, you, <laughs> you child. Uh, different shapes of hammers just move material in different ways. Mm -hmm. And so a hammer like this, if you think about it, if you take a, a ball of dough, perfectly round, and you push a rolling pin into it. Yeah. It's gonna only mush in that direction and that direction, because that's the only direction that the material can go. And these cross beam hammers work the exact same. So if I hammer this into a piece of steel, it's gonna move material in that direction and that direction. That's, that's the temperature we're looking for for forging. That's pretty close to 1800 degrees, something around there. Uh, and I just know the colors at this point. And I just want the profile of the knife to be a little wider because it's intended to be a kitchen knife. So I like kitchen knives to have a little bit of width to get uh, to get your hands up off the cutting board if you're using it on a cutting board. And also just to give the knife more life. Like I'm trying to make stuff that like people hand down to their like kids' kids. Like shit like that. Like yeah. we're in that, we're in that generational game. Shit we're in that like heirloom that. game. Yeah. You know? so. Yeah, look at all these belts. Yeah. Uh, this is my belt grinder. This is Charisse. I use this tool for, for just about everything, grinding blades, grinding handles, polishing stuff. Uh, so I spent a ton of time standing in front of the grinder working. With how fast the grinder is spinning and stuff, it's a pretty quick process. It'll remove a lot of material quickly. Whoa. A doll might stab somebody with this. <laughs> It might cut a steak. Is that what this is for, a steak? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Kitchen hopefully, knife. Mostly make hopefully, kitchen knife. Hopefully this isn't wasted on tofu. Right? <laughs> exactly. don't, don't cut tofu with this. Unless you buy it. Here's the area where I hand finish the blades. So I'll sit here and polish knife blades and handles. I just do this for hours Yeah. and hours and watch YouTube videos. And uh, eventually, you know, you end up going from this to this. Whoa. Uh, should we go look at a sword? Yeah. So this was a collaboration with a friend of mine from Missouri. I went down to visit him and we uh, spent a few days making the Damascus for the blade, which is called a feather pattern Damascus. You can see that because it looks like a feather. The guard is made out of wrought iron, out of like 100 year old wagon wheels. And the handle is dyed, dyed maple burl, uh, dyed and stabilized. That's a, a piece of wood that's been dyed and then kind of filled with epoxy um, all in the pores of the wood, so it's very durable. You're picturing some like really sexy elven pirate, just like his chest hair flapping yeah, that's like as long. long as his ponytail and he's like, yeah, you know, up on the front of his ship. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Are elves good swimmers? Um, Galadriel swam for a really long time after hopping off the boat going to the undying lands glad he could swim because otherwise he'd drown <laughs> i haven't been able to fit a joke in this entire time so <laughs> nate do you have anything that you want to say to people uh stop putting your fucking knives in the dishwasher please i like how it was violent and then polite yeah that's what milwaukee the city is violently funny but polite you could bring your mom Awesome, thanks. Well, back to you, Sam. <laughs>